Hey guys, um, I'm coming with a video about five things your baby will need uh, before they come home. If you want to know any more about this information, just keep watching and we'll get right into it. Five, five things that I needed uh, for my, before I came home with my newborn. Um, the first thing I was going to need was, number one, is a car seat. You're going to need a car seat because it will not allow you to leave the hospital, or where I live at. It will not allow you to, allow you to leave the hospital, which I think is everywhere. Uh, when you first have your child, when you have your child, you can't go home without the car seat. So that's number one. Uh, before you have your child, make sure you buy a car seat. Um, I bought my car seat the day after I had my baby and it didn't go well. Um, well, cause I, I had to stay in there longer anyway for other reasons, but um, yeah. So make sure you buy a car seat before you even, you know, before it's time to even almost be ready to pop. Make sure you got a car seat, that's the number one thing. <clears throat> Walmart has some good ones. I mean, everywhere you go is really gonna be, uh, car seats for babies run around 80 to almost to two hundred dollars so it's really all it all depends on what you need what type of car you have whatever the situation is okay so and also um that's one thing you can't buy used i bought a lot of my stuff that was used but that's one thing you cannot buy used just for safety reasons you can't buy a used car seat <laughs> so that's one thing um is you want to have a car seat number two you want to uh, have a bassinet for your baby. Uh, make sure you have that so when she comes home, she, she could sleep right next. Make sure, also, make sure she's in a room with you. Make sure the bassinet is not in her own room at, right now. She wants to be sleeping. Uh, my doctor recommended that uh, the baby sleeps in the same room as you for safety reasons because so you can hear her if anything's wrong or, you know, just be, just for safety reasons, you just want to be in there with your baby. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna be thinking about getting a new bassinet. The bassinet I have, it's okay. It's it's more so of a look. It's not really usable. It's just a, it's feels like a flat cardboard. That's all. I mean, I wouldn't want to sleep on a flat cardboard, but you know, my doctor recommended that there be nothing in the bed with the baby. I'm all for doctors. I'm not 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 knocking doctors. I'm not none of that. But as the old saying goes. Yeah, make these new rules you know some stuff every baby's different so uh my baby uh sleeps she, she likes to sleep warm like in a womb so i put just a flat um real thin mm. cotton to make it a little bit cushion because it seems like that would be so uncomfortable and i could sleep like that so that's what i do you don't have to do it. I'm not telling you to do it, but that's what I do, and my baby loves it. So, <laughs> if you can get that baby to sleep, that's all that matters uh, to me because uh, your sleep is going to be very precious. You're going to love sleep more than ever. If it's your first time, sleep will be your best friend. When you get, you will be love to fall asleep. But anyway, number three is a. Um, um, you want to have bottles. You want to have bottles. I recommend glass bottles with a nipple. If you're going to be breastfeeding, most likely yes. And if you're not, I still will get a nipple. Most most where you go now, they're starting to make the the tops of the nipples be look like a woman's chest breast. So it could a baby just naturally you know latch on easily and they'll like it better. So. That's one thing, and I will get glass bottles, and I will get uh, non-colic uh, bottles. Um, I got mine from Walmart. They were like $15 to $20, you know. I only got two of them, but I wanted some good bottles. So, excuse me. I wanted some good bottles so my baby wouldn't be getting gassy, which she did get gassy anyway, but for other reasons. Uh, end up being about her milk. I'll make another video if you do want to know about how to identify if your why your baby's gassy um, and fussy. Um, I actually have another video um, about that too. Uh, I'll put it in the description. And then um, 
So we have bottles, bassinet, car seat. You'll need number four is um, a bottle warmer. You want to have a bottle warmer um, to warm up the bottle. I was not, the first three weeks, I was very neglect neglected of warming up her bottles. I did not do that with my son. Um, I, but every baby's different. So she was very fussy. When she first came home, she was cool. First two weeks, she was sleep a lot, a lot. You know, it was real easy. Then the third week came, I was like, Mm, this is this I, I remember this now. This I remember why I took so long to have no child. But nah, but it's all said and done. I figured out it was her milk would make her fussy, her stomach didn't like it. You just have to read your child. So I changed the milk, got the bottle warmer, I started warming up the milk and I started using purified water. Listen, I was using tap water. The doctor said I could use tap water, I was using tap water. Uh, if you live in a city that you know they clean the water. Um, I was using it. Listen, I wasn't thinking. I'm just being a mama who trying to get through. Make sure your baby's free. I wasn't, you know. So, but also I would say get purified water. Get a bottle warmer. Well, the first, you know, the thing is a bottle warmer. But I'm just saying in regards to that, make sure just because no one told me. No one told me this. Uh, I just had to learn. So, just letting you guys know. Don't worry very viable and make sure you want the bottles and then okay so we have uh, bassinet car seat bottles <coughs> bottom one last thing you want to have is um a case of diapers you want newborn diapers you want to have a case of them you know i know right i don't know everybody doesn't have baby showers everybody but that's the five things i would have is and i would recommend pampers that's my sponsor. I just love Pampers, the brand Pampers. They have not gotten me yet. I have not had an issue. I have not had leakage. I have not had nothing with them. <coughs> and I'm on the cheap side, but when it comes to Pampers, them things will last a couple a couple hours. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to check like them things hold on tight to some water and some you know what I'm saying. Oh, and one more little, last little, you know, it's, it's not really first thing you need, but eventually I felt like I needed after my baby was here, um, is a um, diaper bell. Um, when you put the, the diapers in, when they, you know, I think it's first, you know, when you change them, whatever. Listen, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'll get that. I'm one of the people, I'm not doing all that. I'm getting trash bags, put them up, wrap them up. Okay, they got old after the 10th diaper in a day. No, I'm exaggerating, but still, it felt like that. But still, um, that would be the last thing I would say to get. Um, I bought some other little funky things. If y'all want to see um, what I recommend that can help with the soothing and getting used to your baby. Y'all want to see a video of that? I got some awesome, 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 awesome um, little gadgets that I've seen online that I tried. And, you know, every baby is different. Listen, there's no perfect mother. We all want to make mistakes. We all love our children, and we all want to, you know, make it as easy as we can for the children and for the mother. But don't, you know, when we make mistakes, it's okay. Because I was doing that with the water. My baby was crying. I was like, what is going on with my baby? I got to figure out. And I was, you know, then I started doing research. And you just live and you learn. Because there's not an actual book on for every baby out there. There's no book, because every baby is different. My babies were similar in some ways, but the main ways, you know, is eating and pooping, but when it comes to other stuff, what your baby likes, what this baby likes, it's just different. There's different personalities, a different person, so it's gonna be totally different every time. So it's not really necessarily a guide you can get. This might be a, a formula, a, a, a general um, tips, but when it comes to each child, every child likes little different things that make them suit better. So I always remember that. Don't take it too personal, you know. You know, when you do something wrong, you do something wrong. Or, you know, whatever. I just feel like I needed to say that because I felt bad about not getting the pure fried water. You know, I was just trying to be cheap. And you can't be cheap when it comes to your baby. It's health. So I said I had to get to. So I hope this helps y'all. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, give this video likes 
thumbs up, whatever it's called, you know, um, thank you. And if you have any questions, leave in the comment. Also, um, if you have anything you use for your baby that was very important, leave it in the comments. I want to know because I want to get everything for my baby.